The cattle industry in Queensland is the largest in the country. Whenever you get livestock involved in a work environment, there are things that are uh, unknowns. The livestock industry in Queensland has one of the highest fatality and injury rates of all industries. Cattle are obviously unpredictable animals. They don't even have to see you. They, they just hear something behind them and they kick. I've been kicked in the head before. Kicked right in the side of the head, right there. Now the only reason we've got cross-loading is because of the National Road Transport legislation. Where road trades, as they get closer to populated areas, they have to be made smaller or changed to a different configuration. We need to cross-load to break down the six-deck trailers that we bring in all the road trains in from the west to put them on the B-doubles or two-deck trailers to run them into the cities. There's more cross-loading going on than ever before. My aim as a cattle producer when shifting cattle is to get them to the, to the end destination as stress-free as possible so we have a, a good product at the end to do the movement as, as quickly and as efficiently as possible and, uh, and obviously uh, we'd like to do, do the whole process safely. The potential for injury usually occurs while someone's working at heights, the driver's fatigued or during the loading and unloading process. Traditional cross-loading, it's been an issue that has needed to be addressed for some time. Traditionally it's, it's um, just been done by backing two trailers onto one another. Cross-loading happens in every condition, rain, hail or shine. The old-fashioned cross-loading method is used on the side of a road somewhere which becomes very unsafe for drivers as well as the cattle. Drivers are uh, clambering along the sides of trucks, holding onto crates with one arm and closing gates, pushing cattle up with the other. We came up with this concept to minimise the, the risk of injury to our drivers and um, streamline the operation. If they're loading better, There'll be no stress on the bloke doing it, and there'll be no stress on the animals. So we decided that we'd, um, we'd come up with our own design and build it with the uh, workplace health and safety aspect in mind. I uh, had a conversation with our, our fleet manager, Mark Collins, and uh, he and then in turn talked to our boiler maker, and um, they came up with the design, and we built it in our own workshop. It's not rocket science, but it's something that should have been around years ago. We sat down and uh, did up a, a basic drawing coming up with a two-decker crossover platform idea that we were able to uh, uh, side unload road trains at and reverse our B-doubles onto. During the construction, we consulted some of our drivers who had some really good input, which um, forced us to change a few things. The, the input from the drivers was the, the, the need to be able to work this from the outside, try and keep us separated from the cattle. We can minimise the risk significantly with this cross-loading ramp. The idea of a cross-load is the drivers can manoeuvre around without getting injured and be standing free from the cattle. The new cross-loading system provides a safe environment both for the cattle and for the drivers or workers. It's simple. If you know anything about loading cattle, it's as simple as it gets. Look, the whole process and development of the cross-loader was based on an outline of what Fraser's had. But we thought it was a great idea and and so did a lot of other people in the industry and, and that's when we were approached by Peter Rodney at Rodney's Transport to build one for him. Well, we spoke pretty in depth with Fraser's regarding the unit um, and they were very proactive in helping us out and highlighting areas of improvements that could be made. Some of the major design features we applied to the system is making sure that the drivers had a safe platform to work on so there was no tripping involved. Expander mesh was a, a good option traction on, uh, on the driver's boots. There are handrails, there are safety gates, there are platforms that go from one trailer to the other. The truck can pull up and nothing moves. So we incorporated sliding gates at the unloading side of the ramp to close the cattle off quickly once they entered the new trailer. The system also has solar powered lighting. The facility can be utilised 24 hours a day in any type of weather conditions. Some of the considerations that we, we put in the crossover platform was to enable the drivers to be able to crossload top and bottom at the same time, which obviously cuts our crossloading time down by half. Some of the design considerations involved in the manufacturing process of the crossloader was trying to build it to an Australian standard, including safety rails, non-slip flooring, ladders and access to the unit. At 
the end of the day we'd like to have one everywhere. There's livestock that's cross-loaded. The industry has taken the, the proactive step and gone forward and solved their own problem. They have identified the issue and they've come up with a solution. On the whole, this is a proactive initiative. This is about understanding that it can be difficult and it can be dangerous. So in a proactive way, we've decided to do something before there are really bad injuries, um, just to make sure that things are better for our people. But certainly the crossloader minimises the risk of injury to workers. It's a far better outcome than what's been out there and what is still occurring out there. Well, I think the biggest benefit to the industry with the crossloader is, is the efficiency of, of moving cattle. The industry's reacted really well, especially from a customer base. They've really enjoyed seeing how the cattle are transported from one trail to the other and the safety and ease of use for workers to be able to do it at night time and day time. The Livestock and Rural Transport Associations across the country continue to lead in these areas of safety and, and proactively being involved in workplace health and safety issues. I hope the industry will take a leadership with this and move forward and have this new innovation put at major cattle facilities throughout Queensland. In terms of the larger operators, I think there's an opportunity for them to put them in their own yards. Certainly Fraser's and Rodney's Livestock Transport organisations are ahead of the game. They're very proactive in worker safety. It's really, really surprising how much interest it has created and, um, and we're proud to be a part of it. Look, we're very proud to be able to be involved in, in promoting safety, but also be involved in helping the industry come up with a standard that's recognised Australia-wide to help the industry promote and, and produce a safer environment for their employees and drivers. I get excited about it because it's something that has been on the drawing board in somebody's mind across the country from, uh, for a long time and now it's there, it's actually you can touch it and you can deal with it and you can use it.